Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. The de-escalating uh, process uh, started, the de-escalating process of the conflict in Ukraine I'm talking about, and uh, it seems like the collective West uh, stopped sending weapons to Ukraine. I'm just kidding, obviously. No, they keep sending weapons, and other little uh, bottom feeders are sending their, uh, they're rotating their uh, weapons. They uh, sell or they uh, donate their weapons, the Russian-made weapons, to Ukraine, and obviously will have uh, new buyers from Uncle Sam, the military industrial complex. So you see who the bottom feeders are here. Well, this article comes from Reuters from today, June 16, 2022. And it comes from Slovakia, <laughs> and this is the title. Slovaks give MI helicopters, or me, helicopters, grad rockets to Ukraine. Okay, Slovakia has donated five Soviet-designed de de Mi series Mi military helicopters and thousands of grad multiple rocket launcher rockets to Ukraine, its defense minister said on Thursday. And I'm um, quoting. Glad to confirm that thousands of Slovak 122mm Grad rockets and five Mi series helicopters have been safely donated to Ukraine armed forces. Yaroslav Nad tweeted after a meeting of NATO and other Western defense ministers in Brussels. The shipment includes four Mi-17 and one M-2 helicopters. He said, adding that those have already been replaced in the Slovak Armed Forces by <coughs> US-made UH-60M Black Hawk helicopters. Good, good, good for you guys, good. A NATO member and Ukrainian Western neighbor, Slovakia, has strongly supported Ukraine's defense against Russia's invasion. It has previously donated armed military equipment and ammunition, including the S-300 air defense systems that the Russian blew up. Uh, it has also agreed to sell eight new Zuzana, Susanna, two self-propelled Hawizers to Ukraine. Good, good, good. Uh, do what you need to do, de-escalate the whole war, uh, support your friends and neighbors, and um, go from there. But then uh, you're going to have uh, the Russians retaliate, you know that, right? Somehow. I don't know yet how, but they will. So it's fine. It's fine. You have to pick your side. And they pick theirs, no problem. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, it's interesting how uh, the arms industry in the United States increased its sales due to this war, but not um, not to the same clients. It expanded its uh, its, um, its client uh, pool. So there are more. No problem. What can I say? I don't know how. Uh, how those things will get to uh, Ukraine and uh, nevertheless I hope there will be enough Ukraine, Ukrainians um, available to use them if you know what I mean because in my my assessment I think Ukraine would run run out of uh, forces to fight the Russians not of uh, ammunition or uh, you know weapons because the Western will send them whatever the garbage they got, and uh, sometimes they're going to send them certain uh, weapons that can uh, be tested over there as testing. But I'm not certain how much they are the, Ru the Russians, so the Soviets, the Ukrainians will be allowed to touch them. And my question and my worry is that uh, uh, allegedly, reportedly. There's a lot of uh, a lot of weapons pouring into Ukraine. Are all those weapons going to end up in good hands? And the answer is definitely uh, not. Not all of them, because it's impossible to have an absolute, not absolute, uh, perfect uh, success here. So I wonder what kind of weapons will end up in some I don't know warlords' hands some, uh, you know, uh, shady organizations, terrorist organizations, newly terrorist organizations that would form after this. 
and I'm assuming that it would be when uh, when Ukraine when I put, let's put it dif differently when this thing will <clears throat> end <clears throat> either way I do not expect the, on, on the Ukrainian side everyone to be on board with the result of how, whatever the result would be I expect that there will be individuals who would ask for favors due to their to their involvement in defending Ukraine in <clears throat> various ways, economically and financially, obviously, and militarily. And because people have, you know, pride and uh, ego, and they expect certain uh, positions. And when they're not going to get those positions, because it's not, uh, uh, you know, everything available for everybody to that level, they will be upset. So then uh, what's going to happen? Not only upset, they could play at two ends. Then these warlords, I don't know, a few generals will think that maybe they don't want to go that way, they want to go this way. And you're going to have three armies in Ukraine, let's say, there's a possibility. <clears throat> One army will think this way, the other, the other army this way, the other army this way. What are they going to do then? And they all have weapons. Or well, let's say there are organizations that do not identify themselves, they don't show up. You know, they just stay a little bit, you know, underground for a year or two. And then they start uh, uh, imposing certain uh, certain policies to the government, to the financial institutions, and not only in Ukraine, since Ukraine, if, will be uh, uh, you know, admitted into the European Union as a member, the borders will cease to exist. So then people could just travel, like trucks, and you can put a lot of stuff in trucks. So then, uh, and I'm on big trucks or small trucks, and you can move certain things from one place, Ukraine, to other place, Western Europe. And then you can do certain things. You can uh, um, ask for uh, certain favors and uh, use blackmail. I think the, all this thing, arming without, um, I think arming without uh, the ability of, uh, <sighs> controlling everything they will not be able let's start with this i i refuse to think that all the weapons will end up in the good hands let's put this ukrainian army that would be responsible and on, on, under one commander i refuse to think that because that's not how life works and history showed us many examples of that uh, so this these organizations will have an impact they will, will, will move. And not only that, there will be organizations that will have to settle scores with other organizations. And they will have uh, hoisers. And they will have this and they will have that. They will have anti tank, I don't know, uh, bazookas and whatever other stuff. Imagine there will be commercial airplanes flying, taking off from, from airfields. Have you been about, around an, an um, airport? outside of it to see how a plane takes off how long it takes to take off i'm just i'm just saying how easy certain things are could be achieved if you have the weapons and those guys will have the weapons <clears throat> imagine that you have a crazy something that demands something nothing happens and then he positions something outside an airport and Boom, what are you going to do about it? They say, next one is going to be next week, somewhere else. What are you going to do? You're not going to fly anymore? Are you going to push the residential areas around the airports? What are you going to do? It's going to be impossible, impossible to stop these kind of things. They talk about here at the States, you know, limiting and blah, 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 comprehensive gun reforms and blah, blah, blah. This is just to take uh, guns and so on. That's my assessment. You know, disarm and so on. But think about those guys. Those those guys have weapons of war, not a uh, AR-15 here. Pam 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 pam. That's zero compared with what those guys will have over there. Imagine those. So if you have a group having those kind of weapons, how much damage they can do? I think that organized crime would skyrocket in Europe, not in the United States. In Europe, 
and I don't know Britain. Britain can it's harder to get to Britain all those things, obviously. So Britain will be isolated from this situation. Only the mainland Europe would be affected. So Great Britain can send how many weapons they want to to Europe, and they will have over there their garbage. And the same with the United States. Just, just a thought. So yeah, uh, Slovakia do that too. De-escalate the situation. That's fine. That's why things should have been stopped in 2014 with the overthrow of a democratically elected government in Ukraine with the help of outside services. That's a fact. It's inconvenient for some uh, uh, chancelleries, chancelleries and location and people, but facts don't care about your feelings, as uh, one of these guys said. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.